Okay, now we say GDB in here dot forward slash and add and we enter the debugger break start to break it at the start and then run I also press control shift and T and type uh, obj dump dash M Intel dash D and then the name of our process to see all the codes and its addresses even though well, you know that you could just say disassemble in here but I want to have it in another terminal so right now if I say info registers RIP and hit enter we are at 4080 which if you look this is the uh, instruction that should be executed well the first method uh, we have already worked with it and we know how it works so I just say a step I to go to uh, next and uh, second one and if we, we say a step registers R8 right now R8 is equal to 10 R9 is equal to 20 or VUX14 and uh, if I say a step I the add would happen and the content of R8 register would be equal to 30 as you see well the next command would zar, uh, zar it so if I say a step I two times then the R8 and R9 register would be equal to zero and now it's time to get to the uh, next instruction or second method which if I say RIP register it's equal to 4095 which is actually this address so the next instruction that should get executed is push 0xa actually the reason for uh, these two lectures was just to tell you how this uh, to compare just these two instruction even to in the second and third method we are using the stack but I want to show you how they change so in here if I say info registers RSP you see that RSP is equal to this address this is the top of the stack so I just copy it now if I say a step I and hit enter the push command the push 0xa has been executed so the 0xa has been um, just pushed onto the stack if I say RSP the top of the stack has been changed but I want to get the difference that what is the um, changing in the length of the stack so I open up another terminal and enter the python shell in here first I give it the first address of the RS RSP convert it to the uh, hex to the decimal and then I give it the second value also you know that the stack yeah actually this is 90 the second one is 288 so I just copy this value in here paste it in here we remove the 0x and this would be 16 to uh, change both of them to the decimal and get the difference now so 290 and 288 sorry the first one would be this the top of the stack and the second one is 288 so this would be 288 and I hit enter and as you see the difference of the stack size is 8 bytes so we just in a executing the push 0xa 8 bytes have been added to the stack the push as you see uh, simultaneously as we explained actually in the assembly module it adds 8 bytes to the stack the second one would add another 8 bytes to the a stack so if I just say actually let us also look at this address so you see if I look at this address in the memory by saying the x1 xb or actually 8 xb and paste this value in here you could see that we have 0 xa and then 7 bytes of 0 which means that 8 bytes have been uh, just assigned for the uh, for pushing a into the stack now I say a step I so that the second push would be executed if I say info registers RSP we got this value right so if I go in here and say 080 as you see this is 280 this address if I now execute it you see the difference is 16 so the top of a stack was here then two pushes the executing of two pushes commands uh, has increased the size of the the length of the stack by 16 bytes then well the rest would happen like always we pop one of them into the r9 which right now the top of the stack is 0x14 right so if i just say 
um, x 1 xg and then rsp to get the uh, value in the top of the star you see it's uh, 14 in hexadecimal we could look at it in other ways like here that you saw but the top of, top of the stack is 0x14 so all of these bytes would be moved inside the r9 register and then the top of the stack would be 0xa so let me just say a step i have a look at uh, top of the stack again now it's 0xa so this one would be pushed into the um, r into the just Mm, R8 and R9 register so R8 is 10 R9 is 20 and then the next command the add one in here would add them together so right now the R8 register would be equal to 30 and this would be the second method now we start them again and then we get to the third method so I just say a step I two times then the R8 and R9 register would be equal to zero both of them now our IP register is pointing to 4000A6, right? So 4000A6 is pointing to RBP. So RBP, if I say info registers RBP is right now equal to zero, but this would be pushed into the stack anyways. It's just for, um, it's a good practice that we always, when we want to use a register, it, it's better that we always store it. So if I say, rsp is equal to e290 if i say a step i and again have a look at the rsp you see that the length has been changed again because we have uh, pushed the rbp and because it was equal to zero now you might guess that what would be the um, content of the top of the stack well yes rbp was zero so we have eight bytes of zeros so after that, that we have explained uh, about all of these things in the previous lecture, we move RSP value inside the RBP, then we subtract the RSP by uh, the RSP by two, uh, so that we could increase the length of the stack. Actually, let me just show them to you too. So right now, if I say info registers RIP, I'm at four thousand a zero, right? Four thousand a seven. Sorry, it's this this instruction move RBP inside rsp so info registers rsp is equal to e288 and info registers rbp is equal to zero so if i say a step i the value inside the rsp would be moved inside the rbp now look if i just say rbp it has the content of the rsp register right after that the it, the next instruction is to subtract the RSP by two. So if I say a step I, you see right now this is the content of both RBP and RSP. If I say a step I and then have a look at the RSP, it's equal to E286, which the difference with the E288 uh, is only two bytes. So we have added two bytes to the length of the stack. Now we want to use one of the bytes for 0xa which is this address and you are um, currently at this instruction right so if i say x1 xb the one byte that i want to look at the top of the stack which is this one it would be equal to zero also i want to look at a t7 which is the two bytes between these two addresses also it would be equal to zero right so now the next instruction by a step i would get executed and if you look at the instructions again the rbp minus 2 would be equal to 0xa right so this one should be equal to 0xa as you see in here and the second one if i say a step i again the at7 address would be equal to 0x14 as you see in here so you you see we have um, let me just execute the rest of the rest of them in here so i just say if you like rbp minus 2 would be in the r8b so in here right now info registers r8b uh, well info registers r8 let me say uh, nothing is in it if we say a step i it would be equal to 10 the same thing would happen for the r9 register a step i again they would be 
added and then the RID register would be equal to 30, right? So the important note in here is that using this move command, we go yet another level deeper because in here by using the push, uh, it would assign just eight bytes for 0xA and 0x14. But in here, we completely have control over our memory. We completely specify that how many bytes I want to uh, allocate for the 0xA and 0x14. And as you saw, this was much more efficient because we only used one byte for both A and 14. So in this way, I think now you know uh, why uh, the compiler in the previous lecture had translated the codes into something like that, right? Because uh, even though it was four bytes for each integer, but in here, well, in this way, I think it would be a better practice because you have more control over your memory.